Hi, my name is Maya Campbell, and I'm with Scott Center Broadcast Journalism, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Yifeng Taiwan Fruit Tea. So Yifeng Taiwan Fruit Tea is a boba place in downtown San Mateo, similar to all the other places I've reviewed. Um, and they really place a lot of emphasis on their not using any concentrated juices or powders or artificial flavorings. So a big thing at this place is like very like natural flavors and natural, natural drinks. Um, but, you know, I've seen a lot of places do that, but I think this place does a pretty good job, or at least it seems like it. So for the first drink today, we have the sugarcane latte, and this drink is basically a mixture of sugarcane juice and organic whole milk, and then I got boba in it, and I did it 30% sweet because sugarcane is pretty sweet. That's still pretty sweet. This is really good, though. It's Sugarcane's flavor is unexpected. You would... I mean, I guess from the name sugarcane, you know, it's the plant that you make sugar out of, you would think it would just be sweet, and that's kind of what it is, but it has this nice, like, floral undertone of sweetness, that, so it's not just, like, sweet milk. I'd probably rate this drink probably, like, 7 or 8, 7.5 out of 10. Um, only worrying thing is I got it at 30% sweet, and it's still, I would say, like, pretty sweet um, for a 30% drink. So for the next drink today, we have the winter melon lemonade, which is basically a mix of this win home brewed winter melon tea and winter melon is a type of like gourdy fruit. It's a lot of people in China eat it. Um, it's not very common out here though. And then it's mixed with lemonade as you guys all know, you know, lemonade. And then I also got boba in this and I liked to get this drink 50% sweet at the recommendation of a barista. That has an interesting flavor. Um, it's very like you can taste that it's tea the lemonade flavor is like more like an accent i would say it's more like winter melon with a dash of lemonade um and the winter melon flavor is pretty potent i wouldn't really know how to describe it that well other than it's kind of like i don't know it's just it's sweet it's good and it, I'm, a winter melon is a hard flavor to describe it's not like vanilla -y or anything maybe a better way to describe it is like it's an earthy flavor yeah, it's, the drink tastes pretty earthy, not necessarily bad. And then I got this 50% sweet. It's definitely way less sweet than the sugarcane drink though. So like sweetness levels across different drinks are a little inconsistent here, but that's to be expected, I guess, considering they're using different ingredients. This drink is pretty good, but not my thing. I would say this is like a six out of 10. All right, and so for the last drink today, we're gonna do the Yifong fruit tea. Um, it's the namesake drink of the place, as it is called Yifong Taiwan Fruit Tea. And this drink was, according to the website, made by the guy who founded its grandma. Apparently her name was Yifong, and they named the place after her. Pretty cool. This drink is described as green tea with, like, different kinds of fr fruit purees in it. So this is, like, apple, passion fruit, lemon, orange. And then I got it at, ah, I got it at 70% sweet with boba. That's very good. Yeah. It makes sense why this is their namesake drink. The fruit flavors really come through, like, very nicely. It's not overly sweet. And I can taste each kind of fruit that's in here. Um, and no, no one fruit is really, like, overpowering the rest, which I really like. And it's super refreshing. I think this drink is probably... This is probably their best drink, honestly. I put this one at, like, set, like a s 8. 8 out of 10. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, considering my other ratings, but... Yeah, I highly recommend this drink. So when I was picking up the drinks to order, I picked straight from the like chalkboard that they had outside that had their most popular drinks and just chose two fruit tea ones and then one more milky one just because I like fruit teas more. But all in all, Yifeng's pretty good. Um, when I summed up all the ratings and divided by three, took the average, I got about a 7.2 out of 10, which is pretty good compared to you know some of the other, other ratings I've given during this series. I would definitely recommend going to Yifong. Um, I've also heard that their like black sugar boba is pretty good. Maybe I'll try that some other time, but for now, I think that probably that sums it up. So that's gonna conclude my review of Yifong Taiwan Fruit Tea. Um, I'm Maya Campbell with Scott Center Broadcast Journalism, and thank you for watching.